Good morning, guys. So today is um, Thursday, and I'm about ready to go to the dentist right now um, for my root canal and crown on this front tooth that's been infected. So if I have to go get it done, I dread the dentist. Oh my gosh, it's just, I just cannot stand going to the dentist, but I'm gonna go and get it over with. Guys, so I am home right now. My makeup probably is pretty much gone because they spray you in the face, you know, at the dentist, pretty much. I'm still a little bit numb, but really not much at all. My numbness had actually started to wear off before I even left the dentist, which happens to me a lot. I, like, I guess my body just metabolizes the um, numbing stuff really quickly um, because I know that's not necessarily normal. You should be numb. Like, a lot of people are numb for hours, and I'm not. And usually, I didn't today, but typically I have to ask for more shots um, from numbing. I've... I, when I first started like getting things done like this at the dentist, I thought maybe I shouldn't ask, or maybe that's weird, I don't know if they would even give it to you, I don't know. But I started having to just start asking, like, can I please get some more, like, some more shots because I can feel this. And last time I had something big done, other than my wisdom teeth, he gave me a ton of shots for that, but last time I had something big done, um, like a regular, you know, thing, um, I was like making noise because I could feel it and he was like, can you feel this? And I said that I could and he gave me more. Normally I have to get um, probably like the maximum of what they're supposed to even give you. He was making some chicken. He asked me if I wanted some. Um, and I said yes. So we have Chick-fil-A sauce here. It's just part of the chicken. We have Chick-fil-A sauce here um, that we brought home with us. And it's really good. It's really good with chicken, obviously. So I'm going to have that. I am going to Starbucks really quickly because I need... Starbucks rolling backwards in this car. I need, oh my gosh, it like won't go. <laughs> gosh, it's like on a hill, it like wouldn't go. Um, but anyways, I have been wanting a cold brew all day. If you don't know, my favorite, like all time favorite, is Dunkin'. But sometimes I want a sweet cream cold brew, something like that. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm really sure if you can. Um, I think you can. Let's turn it this way. I don't have a good setup for this right now. So anyway, I'm on my way to Starbucks, but I just registered for something super exciting. So I don't know if you guys can see that string. If you could see the string the whole time, I'm sorry. I need a tripod for the car, but I don't have one. Um, but anyways, so if you are a worship leader, um, you want to watch this next part of this video. I know, I don't know if a lot of worship leaders follow me on YouTube. Um, I'm hoping that at some point they do because I would love to connect. Um, but if you're a worship leader, you totally want to follow uh, or watch this part of the video because I registered today for a, um, a worship leaders, it's called Worship Summit or something like that. Um, it's basically like a virtual like worship conference type of thing, uh, like a worship training session. And it's going to be with Jeremy Riddle from Bethel. Um, which I love Bethel. If you guys know me, I love Bethel. Um, and I love Jeremy Riddle. So it's going to be with him. And uh, it's basically derived, like it started out of this um, this worship leader group that I'm in on Facebook called Worship Leader Plus. Um, the people in this group started it. And uh, so anybody can be a part of this, uh, this worship uh, training session though. So I registered for that today and um it's only $29 and there's also a discount code on there um it tells you what to do with that and everything you get like a few dollars off I think you don't pay taxes or something maybe a few dollars off but really amazing price and uh, it's a couple hours of a training session so the cool thing is you don't have to be near uh you know where they're having it near their location that was something that uh, always kind of hinders me from being able to go to certain conferences and stuff is where they're located um, so I love this because it's virtual, it's online, so it's really awesome. So if you guys are interested, um, I want to spread the word about that because uh, one of the guys that had started it asked me to make sure I share and let everybody know. So if any of you are worship leaders um, and would be interested in a training like this, it's a very good deal. And I'm very excited about it. I love the fact that it's virtual. Um, and I'm really just excited and, and what a cool opportunity that is, you know, to be able to do that. So. 
I thought it was super cool. I want to share the information with you guys. Um, pass it on also. Maybe, you know, you don't, you're not a worship leader. You don't really have interest in this type of training, but you go to church and you have a worship leader there. Um, and, you know, you, you think, hey, maybe they would be interested in something like that. Let them know about it. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, heading back to the office. It is three o'clock right now. I practice at seven. So, just gonna go back until practice. Well, I have to go home and get my stuff for practice. I have my sound little keyboard thing that I use and stuff like that. I'm back at the office right now. Manny is at the, what? Oh. Manny said I'm shouting at the Say hi, Manny. Oh, it's light over there. <laughs> Say hi, Manny. Hi. But I'm back here. I tried to call my mom, but she can't answer because she's in a store. Doesn't have a uh, doesn't have a signal. I'm gonna go ahead drink my coffee. You try it, Manny. He said it's okay this time, and normally he hates these cold brews. By the way, I took an ibuprofen when I was at home for lunch. I think I already said that, but I have not had any pain since I took that. I'm hoping I won't have any pain because I don't like to take medicine, um, like, at all. So I took it because they recommended that I did, and honestly, I probably wouldn't have. They said that before that your numbing uh, wears off, you need to go ahead and take an ibuprofen. Just to prevent anything, because especially with tooth pain, I've noticed this myself, and they teach you this too. Once it starts hurting, it's like really hard usually, especially if it's bad pain, like, you know, surgery or something. It's really hard to get it, like, calmed down. It's better to just prevent it. I guess that's probably with anything, but especially with your teeth. Um, so they told me to just, you know, prevent it. Just take some ibuprofen, because there will be, like, you know, up in there, I'm sure, some swelling and things when your teeth get you know, trauma done to them, so you won't always take ibuprofen, but I probably wouldn't have, but by the time I got home, it was already hurting, so, and it wasn't bad, but I was like, you know what, I have a, a day ahead of me that I actually have to, like, do things, you know. All right, so we're at home. I forgot my camera in the car, and I was telling Manny, like, I know I carried it in, and I even remembered, like, what hand I was holding it in, and I'm like, yeah, I definitely never carried it in. Don't worry, Manny, I found it. So I'm eating a little snack, I'm getting hungry, and I'm eating these barbecue pop chips. I think they're like healthier, which I know they're supposed to be, um, and they're really good. Definitely recommend them. It's the second time I've gotten them. Today, Manny and I got um, these shirts in, so I'll show you really quickly. It says, Fight Like Gray, Because Every Heart Matters, and they're gray t-shirts. They're really cute. Gray for gray. For Grayson um, but these are in support of one of my mentors um, and his wife they're both mentors in, in my life um, but he was um, a huge mentor for me as a worship leader and um, so yeah anyways I bought we bought these shirts because their son I've talked about them before I talked about actually when he had surgery um, but their son Grayson um, had to have a heart surgery as like a very little baby um he had to have a heart surgery he's doing great but of course they have a lot of medical bills and things like that so we purchased these shirts um that go toward his medical bills and all that kind of stuff so um supporting grayson today i've never met him in person but i hope to be able to someday soon because he's really cute and um so yeah his mom and dad are, are really uh, important to me and wanted to represent them and also help them out in any way that i could morning guys it's friday it's just after nine, headed over to the office. Um, gonna get some work done, do some stuff this morning. I'm by myself today, no Manny. <laughs> He's at the apartment. I don't know if you guys can tell. I think you can. Um, yesterday I had that root canal, and today that side of my lip is swollen, and I think it's because of um, uh the shots that they give you i have like a reaction i think usually to those shots so i'm pretty sure that's what is causing the swelling because i get like bumps like canker sore type of bumps every time i get those shots so i'm at the office my lip i think you can tell now 
for sure. My lip is swollen. I did a Snapchat and you could really tell. But I posted this picture. You can look at my Instagram at Miss underscore Rose 077. I had to make sure that was right. Um, I posted a picture of myself with no makeup on because my skin is looking decent today. Um, and I like to celebrate those moments. I don't have any makeup on right now and uh, my skin has always struggled. I've always had hormonal acne problems and things like that. Well, obviously not always, but since I've been uh, junior high age, I've had that off and on and things like that. And you guys know some of my struggles. So these days are worth celebrating. I mean, um, I don't have these days a lot because typically I have makeup on. <laughs> but um, normally even when I do, my skin doesn't look this clear. So I'm proud of it. So I'm going to celebrate it because you should celebrate yourself. Okay, so I'm home. Manny's in there working on something. But I'm home right now. Um, going to make some coffee and hang out and watch some videos and chill. Have some lunch. I had some chips because I just needed something. Then we have to go to the gym as well. We're going to the gym this afternoon. We've been um, kind of slacking on the gym, which we didn't for a long time. We did really good every day. Only, only took off on Sundays. But we've been kind of slacking. So we're going to go to the gym today. I'm just sitting out here. I don't know how good the lighting's gonna be. It's better like this. So, just sitting out here, and the pool looks so nice. It is so clear. I'll show you guys. I mean, seriously, look how clear it is. It is so beautiful out. The sky is blue as always. <laughs> love it. And I'm just sitting out here having my coffee. I love this little area so much. I always say that. Am I still zoomed in? Okay, and you don't want that. You know. Okay, so I'm having my coffee. It's hot coffee, even though it's like summertime now, but it's cool up here on the balcony. It's like a cool breeze right now. Look at the sky. Can you guys see it back there? It is always so pretty here. You're talking. Where, where are the people? The perfect day. <laughs> Alright, we came inside to do this because, um,. If the breeze picked up out there, and I know you'll hear it too much on here because I don't have a microphone for this. Like, I don't have a good setup for outside for this camera um, to film outside. So we came inside. Ignore the backdrop. That is just my filming area. And uh, looks better. Obviously zoomed in for a video and not just wide like this. So I had to shut the door. But to end today's vlog, ignore my hair. That's why I was wearing a hat. But um, to end today's vlog, I'm going to do this little devotional um, this is more probably, obviously for women, um, but it's called, and for wives as well, but it's called Wife After God, Drawing Closer to God and Your Husband, and, and, um, I love these. We got these as a gift, actually, from a couple in our church. Um, they had them, and, and they said that they felt led to pass them along to us, which was so sweet, and so after Manny and I are done reading them, we want to pass them along as well, because I think that'd be cool to keep passing them along, but... This is from Jennifer Smith, a 30-day marriage devotional. This is the need for companionship. And then it, it cites a couple of verses here at the top. Genesis 2, um, 18 through 22, and Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. Companionship, fellowship, camaraderie, it is a need that exists at the core of every heart. God created man, and in doing so, he created the gift of companionship. God created Adam, walked with him, talked with him, and invited Adam to join in an incredible opportunity with him. God entrusted Adam with the opportunity uh, to name every amazing animal. Part of companionship in a relationship is establishing trust and being able to rely on another. Imagine the honor Adam must have felt when God asked him to join in and assist. God knew Adam's ability to fulfill such a task because they were companions. They knew each other, they spent time together, they stood side by side, and endured life together. Even when there was a conflict in their relationship, God protected Adam and sought reconciliation. God desires companionship with you as well. He wants to cultivate an intimate relationship with you, and he longs for you to join him. He pursues you as a gentleman pursues a woman. He impresses you with creation, magnificent sunsets, brilliant flowers, and powerful seas. He woos you with poetic language, sweet aromas, and courts you with his Holy Spirit. Be still, look around you, see how the Lord is pursuing you. How is he inviting you to join him? He is seeking companionship with you, an unending bond of intimate friendship. He is there beside you to be your rock, your refuge, your ally. He is there to share with you 
uh, to comfort you in times of hardship and to help you weather every storm. There is nothing you can do to push him away or to make him not love you. However, to love God is a choice you must make because you have free will, which is the very thing that makes companionship so powerful because you choose it. Or because you chose it, sorry. Companionship emerged with the special relationship between God and man, yet God desired that man would have the opportunity to experience that same level of intimacy with a counterpart. That is when God put Adam to sleep and fashioned the most beautiful compliment for him, woman. God intentionally created man and woman in his image, giving them the gift of companionship, a strong bond of friendship, camaraderie, and community, thus laying the foundations for marriage. You were created for companionship. There was an extraordinary moment in your life when you stepped into a covenantal bond of companionship, choosing to love your husband and declaring it with your vows. In that moment, you became a wife. You said yes to standing side by side, to enjoying life together, enduring storms together, comforting one another and making yourselves known to each other through intimate conversations and experiences. You said yes. To have a thriving marriage, you must protect your companionship with your husband, make it a priority to pursue your husband, to invite him to join you, to commune with him and communicate with him. Trust in him, be confident in his abilities, rely on him and rally with him. Be his friend and experience the marvelous gift of companionship. And then each one of these ends with a prayer uh, that they have written out. Of course, you can, um, you know, pray on your own as well. But I love the things that they always mention in the prayers. And then um, they have a challenge. This challenge today, spend time with your husband doing an activity that he would prefer to do. So this is such a good devotional for uh, you wives out there. And I really feel like um, women in general could get a lot out of this. Manny has the men's one. Um, and he loves it as well. And Manny's not a big reader. He doesn't really typically enjoy to read. But, um, you know, a devotional like this is short enough that I feel like even people that aren't readers would still like it. Um, but I love in that, um, if you've missed these, I've done Devos with Rose before. And it's where I sit down and do devotionals. And they've always been their own videos so far, which I want to get back into doing. But today I thought I'd just read this to you guys because I wanted to mention it. I love the part where he pursues you. God pursues you as a gentleman, pursues a woman. He impresses you with creation, sunsets, brilliant flowers, and powerful seas. That's really been on my heart lately. And I actually wrote a song about it that you guys will be hearing soon. Um, but just about, you know, all of the things that God created. And, and um, it's really been on my heart that, like, he does that to you know, um, for us, you know, like the beauty of creation, even that pool out there that I'm so like in love with, cause I've never had a pool like that, you know? Um, and just the beautiful blue skies that I'm so happy about every day and, and just things like that. Like God created that for our enjoyment. He created the mountains that I am so in love with here so that we could enjoy them, you know, so that we could, you know, people go hiking on them and people look at them and, and he's such an artist. And so today I encourage you, even if you're going through something, which we've had kind of a rough few weeks, but just look outside, take a breath, you know, go for a walk and see the things that he's doing because he's constantly working. And I love the part, you know, where basically it speaks to, you know, he doesn't force anything, you know, God being a gentleman, he doesn't force himself on you, you know, so you have to make a choice. It's a, it's a choice that you choose to follow him and choose to love him. And, and that's something I feel like a lot of people don't get. Well, if he's God and, and he loves you, why doesn't he just make everybody love him and everybody will be good, you know? And that's not how it works. I mean, that's not love. You know, love is not when somebody forces you to do something. That is not love. So God is a gentleman and he is love. You know, he knows love better than anyone because he, he genuinely is love. That is who he is. Not just what he is, but it's who he is. It's his very being is love. And um, he's not going to force himself on anybody because who would want a little robot? I mean, even this is speaking about marriage, but, you know, even speaking to marriage, um, you know, would you want to force somebody to fall in love with you? You know what I mean? Like, it, it looks cool in movies and everything, but would you want to, like, force your, like, if you say you see a guy or a girl that you want to be with, would you be okay with forcing them to love you? And then they never had a choice? Or would you want them to choose you? And I think all of us, or I hope all of us would say, we want them to choose us. You know, we, we want that. And God's the same way. He wants you to choose um, a relationship, pursue a relationship with him, just as he pursues us every day. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog and go ahead and edit it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you so much. Leave a comment down below. And also, I want to say really quickly before we end, our Etsy shop will be linked in the description. 
please check it out. Even just looking at our stuff, favoriting an item, whatever it may be, will help us out. We have such a big vision for this. So I would love for you guys to go check it out. Just look at it. Let us know what you think. Let us know if there's anything specific you would like to see in the shop. Share it with your friends and family. Right now there's only a few things, but there is so much more coming and the stuff that's on there is so cute. But there's so much more coming and we really want to grow and expand this business and we have a huge vision for it. So please check it out. Manny's put so much work into it and I'm kind of doing like the marketing thing because I like that kind of stuff. But please check it out and we'll see you guys later. Have a great day.